I am Marco from All Spirit Activism. I want to comment some of the comments I received on my video and blog post about Bill Johnson, Jason Westerfield, and aliens. One BSSM student actually contacted me in private and uh, asked me not to spread this on. He said that Bill doesn't want this to uh, be published on social media. My reaction to that was, well, if they don't want it to go public, then don't post it on one of the biggest Christian podcasts in the world. Another person is commenting, you should immediately stop spreading these lies before you get some deeper understanding about what Jason is actually talking about. Good luck with doing the works of the accuser of the breather and the father of lies. LOL. And the basic line of thought here is that we don't know that Bill Johnson is speaking the truth. Another person is writing, uh, has anyone heard from Jason regarding this? This is not a very basic principle that we hear from both sides of any situation before coming to conclusion. Jason would like to hear from you. I agree that I really want to hear what Jason has to say about this. From what I know, he has not commented this at all in, in a month. Uh, there's nothing in public that, that I can see. I, I would love to see Jason Westerfield come out and say, I'm not a new ager. Uh, I, I do believe that Jesus is the Son of God, Jesus is my everything, and, and this is completely wrong. That would be great, because I want so many as possible to be Christian. Um, what speaks for Bill Johnson compared to a lot of the heresy hunters on the internet that just accuse this and that person from being false prophet is that he is an internationally recognized leader of the charismatic movement and quite immediately um, his action was confirmed by Darren Wilson who wrote in the Charisma article that yeah you know what I met Jason and uh, he started talking about aliens and stuff um, another comment here is, is that the correct word another person commenting uh, said that uh, I should check out the YouTube video by John Crowder called why Christology uh, Christology I guess um, where he addressed the Westerfield thing in much greater detail than anyone else on the interweb. I've listened to it, uh, I don't think it's that much more detailed. He mentions that Jason has said that he has been on Mars and stuff like that. And uh, he um, compares Jason to both a Gnostic or that crazy guy on the street that talks about Illuminati all the time. So I guess there's a third confirmation from a person you know involved in the charismatic movement and John Crowder he's wacky he, he is doing a lot of crazy stuff you know if Bill Johnson has been accused of being false prophet John Crowder has probably been that 10 times as much and I'm uh, myself a little bit uncomfortable with all the stuff that he's doing but the Bible says that you know on the witnesses of two or three people you know we, we should start to take action that's even what Jesus says in Matthew 18 you know first talk with someone in private and then take one or two people more um, so that's why I'm posting my videos and you know my main goal is not to, to attack uh, Jason Westerfield. Uh, my main goal with, with my video and blog post was just to emphasize that this doesn't mean a Bethel church as a whole is new age which some heresy hunters were saying and also I think that um, you cannot really say to Bill Johnson you, you're just judging people open the oven open in public and that's wrong because uh, I think it's quite safe to say no matter if this is true or false but they have been discussing this in private for quite some time and um, that's why I, I've posted my video another person asked does he no longer love Jesus where is the video of Bill saying that um, there is no video of Bill saying that and I haven't claimed that there is uh, what Bill says is this. You, you can't partner with somebody who diminishes Jesus from the role of absolute son of God to just a good man. You can't do that. And this is yet another example of that. It seems like Bill Johnson is saying that Jason Westfield has become a part of a New Age movement. Because in New Age, the problem is not that people don't love Jesus, because most of them do. Most of them think that Jesus is, you know, this great spiritual guidance. Uh, but New Ages don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And, and they, they believe that he is a man among others, even if um, spiritually illuminated. Um, he's just one man as any man. And finally, there's been a discussion in the YouTube commentary section about um, that Jason Westerfield is 
like Jesus basically uh, when Jesus was attacked by the Pharisees and, and Sadducees they didn't recognize what God was doing and so there's a person saying that you know the assumption that God will only use the church's mouthpiece and dictionary is what's causing the confusion what Jason is revealing is is greater than the church can handle and and God himself is greater than than the church can recognize it says that it sounds like uh, you're saying if it's not in the Bible it's new age or the devil if this you should stop using the computer, cell phone, or car credit cards, radio, and TV, because those weren't mentioned in the word. Well, there's a, a fundamental difference um, between uh, technology and doctrine. And to say that, yeah, the reaction toward Jason is just like the Pharisee reaction toward Jesus uh, is basically um, putting uh, Jason on, on, on the same level as Jesus. And then you either have to say that Jesus wasn't the son of God, uh, which Bill Johnson says, that Jason says, uh, or basically that Jason has as much authority as the son of God. And then both of these assumptions are pretty problematic. I do believe in prophecy, uh, but when there comes fundamental changes in our focus and, and in what we're talking about, what we're believing in, and what we do, then we, we should back off. Every prophecy should be tested, according to Paul, and all new revelation has to be compared to the ultimate revelation in the Son of God, in Jesus Christ. Hebrews talks about this, how, how Jesus is far more superior than both prophets and angels. And so God bless Jason Westerfield, I pray for him, I, I really hope that he will soon go out public and, and say, I don't believe in New Age, I'm a Christian, I'm passionate about Jesus, he is the Son of God. That would be awesome. Then I will make a new video. Um, but for now, I'm just I'm just praying and blessing him. And uh, I hope that you do that as well. Thank you for watching. God bless you.